Hey guys, so I am back again. I am back from my three week long vacation from the Philippines. We were there with family and it was so much fun. So now I am back to filming my favorites video. This is going to be my April favorite. So without further ado, let us begin. For the first item for my April favorites is my mini pochette. This is the one in the Demure Azure print and this is from their transatlantic that they released last year and i got myself the damir azure one and i love it and i am favoriting this for the month of april because i have been loving using this one as a crossbody bag if you guys are interested watch my previous video i talked about everything to using this one as a crossbody bag the straps the essentials that i put inside of it where I got my strap and for how much. So if you want the deets for that one, go to my previous video. I talked about all of those in that video. So this is my first favorite and I am definitely going to be wearing a lot of this one for spring and summer. And the next one is this Origins Serum. This is the Original Skin Renewal Serum with Willow Herb. This is by Origins. I really, really loved this one. I feel like it made my skin clearer and the pores finer. I don't know if that's supposed to be the effects of this one, but it did do that. So I ended up ordering this one online. I ordered the full size of this one. This is the Face Serum by Origins. It is a renewal serum. So hopefully the changes will continue with regards to how clear it has made my skin and how fine it has made my pores. And the next one is this UB Cream and UB Lip Balm Combo. I know I've favorited this a lot of times, but for some reason when I go to the Philippines, my lips are ex extremely dry i think the dryness of my face and more so my lips has something to do with a plane ride from the u.s going to the philippines and also coming back i think it's 14 and two hours something like that it makes my lips extremely dry to the point that it's gonna start peeling the first couple of days that were there and i was so happy that this time around i didn't forget to bring my cream the last time that we went to the philippines which was two years ago i forgot to bring my cream the trip and also my pregnancy that time made my skin extremely dry and i didn't have anything that could combat the dryness on my face so i had to keep using just tinted moisturizer the whole time i was there i wasn't able to use any bb creams any cc creams any foundation because it would accentuate the dryness on my face and this time around like i said i was so happy that i did not forget to bring my cream and my lip balm it did help a lot with the peeling and the dryness of my lips so i'm so happy that i had this one with me on our trip so i'm still using this one because for some reason i'm still having a little of the dryness on the lips so this is truly a life saver for the dryness that i had during the trip and when we came back from the philippines so that is my ub cream and my ub lip so the next one is this verb ghost oil this is supposed to be a hair oil you can use this one to style your hair or you can even use this one as a heat protectant when you're using heat to style your hair like after showering i put this on my hair when my hair is still damp a single pump of this one and it helps my hair get the volume that i need and hand in hand with a bamboo hair protectant i use that side by side to each other and it is perfect in keeping my hair frizz free and protecting my hair from the heat that i use pretty much almost every day that is the verb ghost oil and this was only 14 dollars, so that's not too bad i still have a lot and i've been using this one for like a month so that's not bad 
The next one is a conditioner by Isles Formula. So this one I am showing you the whole set, but my favorite actually is just the conditioner. So this is by Isles Formula Paris, New York. It is the conditioner of this brand. I actually tried the sample that I got from Sephora and I really loved it. So I bought this discovery kit that they had. It came with, I think, four of this pack. And it also came with this white tooth comb that I have not used yet. And I really, really love this conditioner. It smells so good. It almost smells like a perfume for your hair. The shampoo actually smells the same and also the serum they come with but my ultimate favorite out of this set is the conditioner so i'm repurchasing this one but only the conditioner so i'm gonna buy the full size conditioner which is i think 30 something dollars it's a little pricey but what can i do i really really love this conditioner it smells so good if you guys want to try this you can get the same one that i got it's a discovery kit which comes with this three set sachet and it comes with four or five of this one it comes with this comb as well and it was i think 25 dollars. that's not too bad because you get to try the shampoo the conditioner and the hair serum yeah i think i'm just gonna end up getting the conditioner because i really really love how it smells on my hair i remember when i was in the philippines my sister kept asking me like what perfume do you have on? And when she found out that I was using this conditioner, she realized that it was actually the conditioner that she was smelling on my hair. So I'm definitely repurchasing the conditioner of this brand, the Isles Formula. So yeah, that is one of my favorites from April. So the next one is this Sephora Loose Finishing Powder. I bought this one right before our trip to the Philippines. I think that was like end of March when I saw this one. It was on their sale. I love looking at the sales in Sephora so I could get like deals and stuff. And I saw this one. This, this is Sephora's take on the popular Ben Nye banana powders. I've always wanted to try the one from Ben Nye, but in the website that sells the actual Ben Nye product, you need to spend $35 to get the free shipping. So I don't know which one should I get so I can get the $35. So I ended up buying the Sephora take on the banana powder when I saw that this was on sale. I truly, truly loved this one. I remember using this one in the Philippines and you know how hot it is there. But when I use this one to set my under eyes at the end of the day when I'm like all so oily on my T-zone and stuff like that, I check under my eyes. It's still very smooth as if I've just put on the powder and that is at the end of the day, you guys. So this is truly, truly amazing. I really, really loved it. I think I bought three more of this one in case they discontinue this and I can't buy this one anymore. So at least I have three more of this one. The one that I was using in the Philippines, I actually left for my sister so she can just use this one. So this is actually another one of the new ones that I have. So this is definitely a favorite for me for setting my under eyes and my face. So that's that. So the next one, these are going to be snacks that I truly, truly love from the Philippines. I have only discovered when I was in the Philippines. I didn't even know that they have this one. This is a new one for the Filipino viewers that I have. I'm sure you are familiar with the regular Oishi, which is the lighter pack, and the red Oishi, which is the spicy one. And I was so shocked when I went grocery shopping in the Philippines and I saw this orange one, which is the sweet and extra hot flavor. This is truly, truly extra hot. It is more hot than the red one that they have, which is already very hot and spicy. So this has that sweet kick and then that really spicy taste in your mouth as well. I actually love this one more than the red one, which is actually one of my favorites as well. So this is my new favorite, the orange wishy prawn crackers, which is the sweet and extra hot flavor. 
So this is the orange one. And the next favorite is an all-time favorite for me. Since I have lived in the Philippines, this has always been my favorite. And I always make sure that when I go home to the Philippines, I bring a few of these ones. This is the chocolate chip cookies by Fibisco. I know there's a lot of really awesome cookies here in the U.S., but nothing tastes better than this one. This is my favorite. Even Chips Ahoy doesn't compare to the taste of this chocolate chip cookies. So I always make sure I bring a few packs of this one. I think I bought four of these big ones and I think six of those really small ones. Now they make the small packs of this so This one. is just going to be my own personal stash. Don't tell my husband and my kids. They love this one as well. So I'm just going to be hiding this and not showing them that I have this. So the last but not the least, you guys, is I have actually seen this before. I think somebody posted about this one. I can't remember, but I already saw this one and I was so curious what it was. And finally, in one of our grocery shoppings there, I saw it and I tried it. This is uh, Money Gold Chewy Tamarind Candy. This is made in Thailand. This is like heaven in your mouth, you guys. If you are Filipino or if you know anybody Filipino, Filipinos love anything sour or salty and whatnot. So this is perfect you won't have to deal with the tamarind seeds when you're eating tamarind in the philippines those tamarind candy that you buy that's wrapped in that yellow foil this one is perfect you no longer have to deal with the tamarind seeds and you just pop it in your it mouth tastes it tastes just like the tamarind candy that you buy in the philippines and it is so so awesome you guys it's so awesome because it comes in this really handy pack because my husband and I both like this I think we bought 20 of this one the prices that we saw in the groceries and Cebu were very different there was one grocery store that I bought this for 35 another one I got it for 37 and another one sells it for 39 In case you guys were wondering, that wasn't in dollars. That was in Philippine pesos. The prices vary between 35 to 39 pesos. Since we got home, which is less than two weeks, we've already finished four of the packs that we have. But you know how it is when you like something and you keep eating it? There's going to be a time when you're like, I'm just done with it i'm not gonna eat it we haven't reached that point yet maybe in a week or so we will so the stash that's not gonna be eaten we're gonna put it aside until we get that craving again the money gold chewy tamarind candy sums up all of my favorites for the month of april i hope you guys enjoyed it and i also hope that you guys had a fun april as i did in the philippines and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!